the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, formerly known as National Historical Institute, is a government agency in the Philippines that works as an arm for culture and development agenda of the government and visions a Filipino society with citizens informed of their history, who love their country and are proud of their cultural heritage. Its mission is the promotion of Philippine history and cultural heritage through research, dissemination, conservation, sites management, and heraldry works. It aims to inculcate awareness and appreciation of the noble deeds and ideals of our heroes and other illustrious Filipinos, to instill pride in the Filipino race and to rekindle the Filipino spirit through the lessons of history. In this episode of Historia, we will get to know more about Dr. Rene Escalante, the current chairperson of the NHCP and an author of various historical books about his present duties as the chairperson of NHCP and as the executive director of National Quincentennial Committee that was created for commemorating the 500 years of the victory at Mactan, the Philippine part in the first circumnavigation of the world and other related events in 2021. Hey, what's up? I'm Mark Pangilinan, your coolie traveler from Limang Siglo, and welcome to Historia, story within history. In this series, you will hear the stories of every place we visit. Let's explore, enhance our knowledge, but more importantly, enjoy, while deepening our understanding of our history. Yeah, my name is Rene Escalante. I grew up in back on Sosogon City. I spent my elementary and high school in the province. And then I moved to Manila after I finished high school. I joined the Order of St. Camillus, it's a religious congregation serving the sick. I left after I earned my bachelor's degree. I went to Ateneo Graduate School for my MA and to UP Diliman uh, uh, for my doctoral degree. Started teaching in UP and then moved to La Salle after I earned my doctoral degree and I spent almost two decades with the La Salle University. Now I'm still a faculty of the La Salle and leave because of my current position in the government. So after my term, then I'll go back to teaching. We have a charter, uh, Republic Act 10,086, and there you can find the function of the chair and then the mandate of the commission. So one of the mandates of the NHCP is to commemorate uh, milestone events. So, some of the legal holidays that we have in our calendar, the lead agency in the commemoration is of course the office of the president, but it's the NHCP who is doing the legworks. For instance, this coming Saturday we'll be commemorating the 123rd anniversary of the Declaration of Independence, so we are in the forefront. We also commemorate milestone events, like this year, we will be commemorating the 50th anniversary of the 1971 Constitutional Convention that drafted the 1972 Constitution. We will also commemorate the 200th anniversary of the birthday of Delpan and also the 75th anniversary of the July 4 event, the recognition of Philippine independence in 1946. So this is one of the functions of the NHCP. We are also tasked to restore and preserve heritage structures. So remember that in 2013, a, a strong earthquake hit 
uh, Bohol and, and Cebu and some parts of Eastern Visayas. So we were the uh, one of the agencies who restored the heritage structures that were damaged by the earthquake. Now after that, we uh, started restoring the uh, Baroque churches listed in the registry of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. We are done already with the Church of Pauai and currently we are doing the restoration works of the Santa Maria Church in Ilocos soon. Mm. And after that, we'll go to Miyagao and then the last will be the San Agustin Church. We are, we are also into promoting Philippine history. So we have tie-ups with the DepEd, national organi historical organizations, and some uh, local government units who are also doing their own uh, promotion. We also maintain a pretty recent resource uh, center where you can find rare uh, archival collections if you are a serious uh, historian. This is part of our mandate. Now, we are also the implementing agency of the Flag and Rally Code. So, we, we regulate how we are supposed to uh, display our flag and how we are going to render the national anthem and also the registry of seals is also uh, vested on us. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's also a function to settle historical controversies. Part of the job of the chairman is to advise Congress and the President on some historical issues. So for instance, if somebody will write the President or Congress, when is the anniversary, when was our town founded? So before they legislate and before they declare holidays on this, then they have to consult me on, on, on this matter. And from time to time, I'm also invited as a resource person of both the Senate and the House. Uh, we, have, we have a board. Uh, we have such a thing, a board of commissioners. And we, we are nine, uh, all in all. So we have four ex officio members. They are the, the, the Director General of the National Museum of the Philippines, the Director of the National Library, the Director of the National Archives, and also our own Executive Director. They are regular members of the board. And then we have five private historians. Most of them are academic. Uh, so they're the governing body and policy-making body of the Commission. And then we have the, the MANCOM, the Management Committee, who is helping me and the Executive Director implement whatever projects we have on the table. And then we have rank and file. We're doing the, uh, no, uh, after that, we have the division. We have a division, of course, the finance and administration division. We have also the uh, historic sites and education division. And we have the research publication and uh, RLD division. And we have the historic preservation division that is in charge of, of the restoration works. And we have the materials conservation and research division who is into research also. Now, this year, no, no, not this year, two years ago, we have to create a separate committee for the National Quincentennial Committee because this is a big uh, event. So I created uh, a small group within the NHCP who will help me uh, undertake this commemoration. That committee was created when executive order issued way back in 2018 by the Office of the President. So it created the committee precisely to prepare the country for this big commemoration. Okay? So the task of the committee basically is to do the planning, regulate the activities, set the vision and the direction, at the same time, also to implement the, the projects. The head of this, the, or the chairman of the committee, is the executive secretary, and I am his vice uh, chairman, at the same time, the executive director of the said committee. And the implementing agency, under the office of the president is the National Historical Commission. Then we have affiliates, uh, agencies, part of the budget, DILG, DFA, and uh, DOT, NCCA, uh, DND, and CHED also in DEPED. They're also members of this uh, group. So it's really an interagency committee precisely to make this uh, commemoration successful. Mm. Uh, what made you interested po in history? Personally or? Uh, well, personally, yeah, yeah. personally. My, my specialty really is the American period. Mm -hmm. So the person who really orchestrated this settlement is 
the first civil governor of a country during the American period, William Howard Taft, uh, is the person from whom that Taft uh, Avenue was named after. So, when I was writing my dissertation, my advisor told me, uh, Rene, why don't you just focus on the Fryland policy and then uh, get rid of this chapter on Taft because this is quite long and readers might be distracted by this your your long discourse mm -hmm. the, the biography so you know if you're writing a dissertation you have to be obedient to your uh, advisor so I deleted the chapter now I remember uh, I was already in La Salle at the time so I met the former president of La Salle I don't know if you know him brother Andrew Gonzalez he's a big name so he told me, well, he was like, oh, Rene, what are you doing? Uh, what's keeping you busy? Ah, teaching. No, 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 what I want to know is what's, what particular research uh, you're doing. Uh, I was able to answer, okay, you come to my office and I have something for you. And he told me, you know, Rene, in 2011, La Salle will be commemorating its centennial anniversary. And it's been my dream for a faculty of La Salle to write something about Taft because La Salle is known to be Taft. <laughs> You start to yes. wear La Salle, La Salle top. You, go to, you can see it in the signages of the jeepneys, right? Yes. Okay, so you write the biography of Taft when he was in the Philippines. So that was my next book. Mm -hmm. Now, another chapter that I deleted in my dissertation is my chapter on La Hacienda de Imos, one of the Fire Lands. It's very famous. So doing nothing at that time so I was looking at my old notes so I saw this chapter I made a resolve I made a promise to myself I'll pick this up and develop this okay. so I had it published in 2014 now when I joined the government you know if you're an administrator you don't have that much time for research because of a lot of problems that you have to deal with on an everyday basis so my research output was affected but i still do write articles uh, from time to time in the next episode of historia we will continue to know more about dr rene escalante the current chairperson of nhcp and the executive director of the national quincentennial committee time flies so fast but every minute is a story Thank you for watching this episode. I'm your Kulit Traveler, Mark Pangilinan. Our national hero, Jose Rizal, once said, He who does not know how to look back at where he came from will never get to his destination. See you again next week. And this is Historia, story within history. Here at Historia, we don't have a monopoly in knowledge, talent, and information. If you would like to be one of our Council of Consultants, we would be more than willing to discuss it with you. Just email us at mark at limangsiglo.org or message us on Limangsiglo Facebook page.